Hi, this video is going to show you how to draw hexagon drop ceiling like this. Okay, you can go into custom ceiling and then you double click on the ceiling. Okay, here I'm going to show the grid and I'm going to draw a 900 hexagon. So, uh, I will use a 225 grid. Okay, okay you show the grid and then you can set the size in horizontal and vertical. And then you can start by drawing a polyline. Okay, you can start from any point and then draw 450. Each of the column is 225, so two column will be 450. Okay, and then I join to the next point. Each line I draw will be 450. Okay. There you have the, the shape, and then you transfer to area. There you have the hexagon. And then, each time when you click on the ceiling, it will generate a 300 drop down. So I'm going to change it to 1. Okay. Then the hexagon will become 300 drop down. To be exact, it's 299. Okay, next, if you want to create a light along the hexagon, you can just click on Generate Light Strip here. Okay, and then to remove the light curve, you can click into Section Edit, and then you go to Free, and then you delete this. And you can readjust the light. Okay. So if you only want to have lights on one side of the hexagon, let me just use the pay function to copy a few hexagon. Okay, and then click on section edit. I'm gonna remove this first. Okay, to create light on only one side of the hexagon, you can just click on one of the line and then generate light strip. And then you remove the light curve. Alright, so now okay, you have the hexagon ready and then you can just use the pay function to continuous copy to fill up the area. So for the left and right side, you will need to copy and place it first before you use the pay function. So I'll move it here and then I will use the pay function. Okay, basically you just repeat the same steps and here I already paved three columns. So if you want to leave blank on uh, one of the one of the area, you can just click on the ceiling and then you delete it. Then you will leave a blank space here. So it depends on how you want to assemble your hexagon. Okay. So there you have it. Happy trying. Bye.